Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Brandon Hodge vlog. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. Uh, this will be actually be my second vlog, my second WrestleMania trip vlog here in Tampa, Florida. So today I'm doing Bush Gardens, as well as I'm actually going to an indie wrestling show tonight that's going to feature John Moxley, formerly known in the WWE as Dean Ambrose. I'm trying out this new gimbal thing. It's crazy. <laughs> Dog toy. Uh, but we are, uh, I'm actually trying out this new gimbal. It's crazy. I'm going to show you what it looks like in the bathroom mirror. So I'm holding it now, and I can actually... Oh, push this button and the camera will flip around automatically like that so this is what the thing looks like uh, it's a gimbal you move this way and it holds the camera still it's supposed to uh, so that's just absolutely crazy but this is the setup today so we got a kitchen here so we're doing some homemade breakfast stuff so I got some some good uh, eggs and sausage so I'll save some money on your trip uh, right now the plan is we're gonna go to Bush Gardens I'm gonna hang out at Bush Gardens a little while so let's let's go do that We are now here at Bush Gardens, a little loud waterfall that way, but uh, we are here, we're checking out the primates again. I had fun with primates yesterday. And just look for trouble to get into. Penny press. I'm gonna do it. Let's do it. Twist it, twist it, twist it. I forgot to select it before I hit it, so who knows what I'll get. I got the elephant. I got a Bob Ross claw machine. I love me some Bob Ross. And it's only a dollar for a play, so goodbye dollar. Thank you. Yes. Crossing my fingers here. Crossing my fingers. Come on. It's got him. It's got him. Oh, you kidding me. I'm calling shenanigans on this whole place. That was totally rigged. And I was supposed to block them off when they came through. They're very close, like very, very close. Jumped up here just now. Holy. Yeah, that was pretty crazy. The tiger jumped right up there. Well, now I guess I can say I've petted a wallaby, is wallaby, it? Wallaby, yes. And then there's some kind of big bird over here. I don't want to touch that, but the, the, the wallaby escaped. It got loose and I was able to pet it. That was a pretty cool experience, I do have to say. All 
Well, I got me an ice cream, so I'm happy with that. So that'll cool me off on this Florida weather. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'm now back uh, back home. I guess my home for the week here. Uh, but now it's time for Brandon Hodge, the king of vlog style, to actually turn it into a, a little bit of, uh, of wrestling. We're gonna get into the wrestling mood here, WrestleMania week, because guys, here in about an hour, I'm gonna leave here and I'm gonna go to an indie show featuring John Moxley, Chavo Guerrero, Leo Rush, there's all kinds of, of cool uh, XWWE names there as well as some up and coming indie guys. So it's gonna be a cool show, like 75 bucks each. Uh, so, I mean, you get good value, especially WrestleMania week for uh, indie wrestling shows. It's called like the Cuban Club or something, some random place. I heard it may be outside. Uh, Game Changer Wrestling, uh, Bloodsport 6, let's go. Yeah, but we are now here, and these are our seats. Bring the bell! Bring the bell! Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I just now got home uh, from Bloodsport 6. What do I think of it? Well, it was interesting. I show up and I'm like, oh, they don't have the ropes on yet. And then I waited for them to put on the ropes. Then they brought all the wrestlers. I'm like, are they going to help them put on the ropes? Then the ropes never got on. So, uh, yeah, no ropes on that. That was a little bit dangerous. No padding on the, on the outside. It was just concrete. Was it worth my 75 bucks? Uh, John Moxley probably got my money's worth. I mean, he did a really good job there in the main event. Uh, my only complaint is uh, I, I got the front row seat, right? Uh, but it was more like a second row seat where I couldn't see at all because the camera guy was standing right where I needed to see the entire time. So there wasn't actually too much footage I was able to get to put into this vlog, as you guys may have noticed, because that camera guy was just blocking my view the entire time. Overall, I would definitely give it a thumbs up. It was interesting. It was different. It was way different than I was expecting. I didn't know what I was getting my 
myself into. Kind of reminded me of like the the roots of professional wrestling, uh, of like the uh, when they used to do like the wrestling and the carnivals and, and stuff, and it used to be like a just a just a bare knuckle fight. What did you think, Show? Um, that was the sketchiest show I think I personally have ever been to. But there was no safety precautions, no like bag checks or anything like that. But, like people could bring in whatever they well, that's, wanted. Well, that's standard for an indie show. Though, well, the only it. safety precautions they had were like you had to wear a mask. That's another thing safety. I wanted to point out. They did not do social distancing. Thing. Like they it did not exist. Like people, I was elbow to elbow with strangers all night long. Like there was no social distancing, but people were wearing masks. I was concerned for everyone's safety, so it was just like concrete, like the ring, no ropes, concrete. So there you guys have it. That's gonna do it for this Brandon Hodge vlog, the second vlog of the Brandon Hodge or WrestleMania trip. Your King Vlog style is back. He's better than ever, and he's never going anywhere again. Hopefully not, pandemic permitting. Right now on screen, I'm gonna leave a link to two previous videos for you guys to check out, as well as a button to subscribe to this channel if you're brand new here. But thank you guys for watching this video. I am Brandon Hodge, and I will see you guys in the next video.